Now the last polymer on our list is polystyrene. Now this polymer is one that is usually not recycled. Uh, it is considered a contaminant when added to the, the plastics recycling stream of the others. And typically you should not put this polymer or anything made of this polymer into your recycling bin unless your recycling company has told you that it's okay to do so. Let's take a look at this close up. Polystyrene is used in almost all foamed materials that you'll see in the grocery store or anywhere else you go. So for example, the common styrofoam cup is made out of polystyrene and egg cartons are made out of polystyrene. The packaging, the foamed packaging material used uh, to, in boxed crates and so forth is, is made out of polystyrene. Some of the properties of polystyrene are that it is very, very moldable. So, so uh, materials that require a very sharp crease, like this, this cup here, um, manufacturers will use polystyrene instead of uh, other polymers. Let's take a quick look at the molecular structure. This, this is the styrene uh, monomer for polystyrene. And as you can see, the difference between this and polypropylene is that instead of having another carbon here, what we've got is a ring of carbons. This ring represents uh, six additional uh, carbons that are folded on each other. So each of these points is actually a carbon atom with a hydrogen atom on top of it. So um, in most uh, places where you'll see the formula, <clears throat> this simple uh, six-sided ring is used instead of uh, as, as a shorthand instead of putting carbons all over. Uh, now some of the properties that this structure gives polystyrene is that it is very very flammable um, and so so you should not put a flame anywhere near uh, foam particularly foamed materials because it'll catch on fire very quickly and when it catches on fire it also uh, emits a very toxic fume uh, which is known to cause cancer so <clears throat> very toxic uh, material if you're not careful with it so that's something to be aware of the density of this product is uh, 1.05 to 1.07 it's very close to the density of water but a little bit higher than that so uh, if you put it in water what will happen it's going to sink um, <clears throat> This compares to 1.4, for example, for PET. So just something to be aware of. This is one of the things that we're going to use in a later video when I show you how to identify polystyrene versus other materials. And one of the reasons this material is so difficult to, to identify compared with others is because you see all these three cups here? All three of these are made with polystyrene. <clears throat> so polystyrene in its end form can look anywhere from you know a clear plastic like the cup here to an opaque plastic cup which is soft to a foam plastic cup that looks like this. Also because uh, foam plastic has a natural insulation in it because it captures air, um, a lot of products that need to stay warm, for example um, burgers and in in, you know, in in fast food burgers that you might pick up will be contained in, in uh, polystyrene foam packages. Um, this the foaming is, is the big uh, claim to fame for polystyrene and this is the reason that manufacturers like to use it because a pound of polystyrene can go a long way so many more cups can be made with a pound of polystyrene than say a pound of polyethylene or or a pound of PET because of the fact that it can be foamed and this is and, and a lot less material is needed because most of this is air rather than the plastic itself the way that we're going to use to identify polystyrene, <clears throat> aside from its density, is the fact that it is highly flammable and emits a, it's a toxic and thick black smoke. So that's something that uh, we're going to use to identify polystyrene.